Hello there. I want to talk on this very interesting topic about education uh, from this uh, most people probably don't know him he, he is based in Thailand his name is uh, he's one of the uh, intellectuals uh, his name is John Chandai he did a speech on uh, TED talk also from from Chiang Mai Thailand uh, well He's very interesting, you know. Uh, I actually follow him. He's the one that start doing um, uh, building houses with mud, adobe kind of uh, houses. That's how people get to know him the, the last ten years or so. Uh, he also uh, founder of uh, Pan Pan farming kind of. Uh, sort of a commune farming where many people live kind of together very loosely with not with not that many rules and regulations except you know you're not supposed, you're not supposed to like doing drug or uh, alcohol and things like that and they, they grow organic mostly organic produce they raise chickens and things like that and he also uh, he he married an American girl and uh, uh, they gave birth to uh, to a boy. I think he's like teenager right now, and uh, they're homeschooling him. So uh, he he really um, have he's a critic uh, critic of uh, the current educational system that that we have in Thailand or even here uh, in U.S. So. That's what I'm gonna talk about. About you know um, what John considered to be a lot of problems with the current education in many aspects. The first one is that the current system uh, is actually uh, not helping children to to find out what they really want in life. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm I'm kind of driving. Uh, meaning at very young age. Uh, the system basically uh, not focusing on relationship or love between parents and children at the very young age. You know, the current system want you or, or encourage people to take their little kid to school for whatever reasons. And you know, you, you remember the first day that the, the child, you know, doesn't want to let go the parent, you know, they're miserable you know crying all of that and that's the precise point that he make that it start to destroying the closeness and the bonding between human by you know uh, separate them at a very young age and once in school the system the curriculum start to actually I would say brainwash or control how the children are thinking, you know. So th that's this very crucial part that John John saying that at the very beginning, beginning, they start implementing these rules that you have to follow, and the child stop thinking, but instead following instructions, taking tests and whatnot. And, and uh, he did a lot of uh, discussions or argument on that that how how bad it is because human is a free. Uh, living we want to be able to figure out ourselves how to how to do things how to achieve our goals and you know to fulfill our dreams but in current educational system that that's pretty much you know uh, for most people that's pretty much gone and you become more like a robotic workers to serve big corporations multinational multinational natural multinational Corporations, uh, you know, being in a being in a class. Uh, I mean, that that that's what is his uh, uh, reasoning of, of how the the current educational system actually destroy the way human should be destroy our potential. You know, not promoting creativity for us to figure out what who we are and what we we want to do and how to pursue our dreams. Okay, so. As a parent, you know, I always encourage, even though I don't like the current system, but I always encourage 
my my can be your children to to explore in other areas and find out what they like to do and 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 John actually they they do homeschooling to their kids because he, he doesn't want to spend a lot of money he into very frugality and you know I'll, you know to for family and and parents to sacrifice a lot of money and I believe that you know if the kid go to a very famous school private school of course takes a lot of money it's a huge sacrifice that John Chandai believe should not be he's not doing it and he should should not be encouraged and to him is the wrong way and he encouraged he encouraged people to think differently society have to have diverse thinking and encourage people to to you know to share new ideas to question to question everything you know because the current system you know especially in Thailand you got to follow teacher like top-down kind of thing and if a student have different opinion or, or you know or let's say on the test you got to answer the same way to get correct answers and to get good GPA you, you cannot question the answer or think differently or, or you become like bad student or, or they fail you so right away that that's discourage uh, open discussions and uh, open new ideas you know and basically just follow what what this what the teachers say or what the textbooks say is the right answer you know so that is in a way destroying the creativity right there and and uh, force people to think the same to do the same thing wear the same uniform the same haircut for example you know and when you think anybody thinks something differently like there's another guy his name is Nettie Witt and uh, he's very famous he wrote a lot of books he's a young guy and he people think of him because he he's, you know he's in college but he's very active into he's an activist and he he questioning he put a lot of questions putting a lot of arguments on the current system at his uh, Jilalongkorn CU University in Thailand and people think he's a bad boy because you think differently you know we should not be doing that you know we should encourage uh, good ideas that will help all of us and, and that that's what we should really you know think about the current education system and uh, the reform that needed to be maybe more progressive more practical and children to spend actually more time outside and uh, fostering love and bonding between parents maybe encourage more uh, uh, homeschooling for example you know uh, and not, nothing wrong with a lot of people do homeschooling a lot of uh, Jones followers really you know uh, see a lot of problem with the current system not not only with parents the pressure of financial but to the children that they're, they're not happy with a very high competitive testing environment for example right so anyway uh, this will be my part one very short I got to wrap up and <laughs> go to work so I'll, I'll post this right away and then you know uh, uh, please feel free if you like my video click like I try to present a lot of good ideas and you know subscribe for more and more different videos that's what I'm promoting diversity in ideas and thinking and you know hopefully a lot of positive ideas uh, versus you know a lot of negative things that are going on right now you know in our country so hopefully you know let's let's talk about how do do we positively change the uh, the systems and to, to actually encourage our kids to to become more independent thinker and for and pursuing their dreams we'll talk to you folks later bye for now